Let's talk about the importance of beginning with the end in mind for weight loss success. Now, I know this can seem kind of counterintuitive uh, for anybody out there who maybe you've got a significant amount of weight uh, to lose. You may be sitting there thinking, I don't need to be thinking about the end. I just need to focus on getting the weight off. Like this is a problem I need to solve. I don't need to think about what my life should be like at my goal weight. But if that's your mindset, you're making a big mistake. And this is a mistake I kept repeating throughout my entire life. You know, I always struggled with my weight and inevitably what I would do is go on some really hard plan and just, you know, I would think, well, once I get the weight off, then I hope I'll be able to keep it off. But hope is not a strategy. Now, in 2014, after I had my I've had enough moment, I got it in my head that I really need to think about the end. So in other words, what do I want my life to look like after I hit my goal weight? Like what are the foods that I want to be eating and what are the exercises that I want to be doing? And this has made a major difference in both the weight loss journey and the actual maintenance part, which has been going on for years now. So right now, if you have started a plan already, uh, but you really didn't think about uh, you know, what you're going to do once you hit your goal weight, or maybe you don't have a plan at all. Uh, here's a, a helpful exercise. Visualize the morning that you wake up, you know, you go step, step on the scale and you see your goal weight. You finally hit it. What are you going to be eating that day? What are you going to be exercising like that week? And if the behaviors you're visualizing in that moment are different than what you're currently doing in order to lose weight, then change your plan. Change your plan to make it look like exactly what you want your life to look like in maintenance mode. And the thing is, you know, weight loss and weight maintenance is not magic. It's not about luck. It's just about eating the right amount of food. And eating the right amount of food will keep you at a certain weight. It's just that simple. So the idea that you need to like cut out foods out of your life and, and all that in order to lose weight, it's just simply false. There are two really big benefits of going ahead and starting with a plan that you can foresee doing for the rest of your life. The first thing is, is it takes that stress out of maintenance. Like so many people are worried about like, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Like once I hit my goal weight, how, how am I going to stay there? And if you already like the plan you're doing, all you have to do is just keep going with that. Whatever got you there will keep you there. And the other really big benefit is when you're doing a plan that you can foresee doing for the rest of your life, it's really easy to stick with. You don't feel like you're, you know, clenched all the time. Like, oh, I hate doing this plan, but it's going to be worth it. Instead, you're like, hey, this is pretty easy. I can foresee myself doing this forever if I need to. Now, look, even if you begin with the end in mind, that doesn't mean that it's going to be a, a trouble free time uh, or that you won't have to make changes along the way because you certainly will. But if you keep that picture in your mind of what you want your life to look like, it will prevent you from doing things that are unsustainable, which will prevent a lot of heartache. So right now, like if you want to be eating cake and bread and pasta at your goal weight, then go ahead and start giving yourself those foods now and just learn how to lose weight while you're eating those foods. And you know, look, that's how I did it. And so you can too, if that's what you want to do. Now, the idea of beginning with the end in mind is not my original idea. This comes from the book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. And it is an excellent book. If you are currently trying to lose weight, I would highly recommend it. Uh, it's not about weight loss specifically, but it, ph philosophically, it's really helpful. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one. There is so much conflicting information out there about intermittent fasting. It's overwhelming. What do I eat? When do I eat? Is a 16-8 better than OMAD? What's OMAD? Should I do dirty fasting or clean fasting? All of these questions and more are answered in my flagship course, Intermittent Fasting for Weight Loss 101. Click the link to get lifetime access today. Your future is up to you.